Hello everyone and welcome to another Sims 4 update video. In this video I'll be going over the February update where they've added genealogy which is basically like a family tree, some new create a sim items and objects, and also the new expansion pack that they just officially announced called Get to Work where they've added new careers, new objects, new activities, a whole bunch of cool stuff. So I will have links in the description, one to the patch notes, one to the Get to Work tree trailer which is where I got a lot of screenshots from another one to where you can pre-order get to work and also a link to sim vip's blog post where I got some of her screenshots from as well so if you're interested in hearing more about this then feel free to keep on watching starting off with the create a sim items the females have two tops that plain shirt well it's not plain it has the hearts on it and then a new brassiere and they also have bottoms to match that so here are the the bottoms for them it comes in a bunch of different colors Colors, you can mix and match them of course for the males they have the same shirt with the three different presets and boxers look at how adorable they are and here we have the two new objects the first one in front is the new gnome it's called the happy gnome anniversary because it is the sims official 15th anniversary happy anniversary the sims and they decided to give us this cute little gnome with a little party hat and that little whistle thingy and a slice of cake and it's all fancy and it's so cute and then the bear that one is called the lots of love bear and it's just holding a heart and there are just all of the different presets there's so many of them they're precious now moving on to the family tree or genealogy the first thing I want to show you is that when you go to your sim skills you can actually hover over them and see what they can use to improve that skill so there will be icons and they'll also have a little explanation of how you can you know get cooking skills or fitness or comedy it's pretty cool next thing is if you go into the simology panel and you see that little tree family tree thing click on it for the family tree or genealogy as they're calling it and you can see all the de the generations so yeah you can hover over them and see what your relationship with them is see what their jobs are and how they died I believe too you can move the family tree around so if you have a huge Huge family you can just like look around it because I know a lot of people do a bunch of legacy type challenges and they end up with hundreds of kids I don't know about hundreds but a hundred ish <laughs> so yeah it's pretty cool and the top one is since I don't have parents the actual parents of this household it doesn't show anything because you know they they don't have parents but if they did they would be up there and they would have that little blank icon for their parents and so on and so forth speaking of legacy stuff they also have four new legacy achievements there's the alphabet legacy play a household of 26 generations or more for 100 points they have the legacy leader have 10 households in the world that have been played for 10 generations or more for 100 points legacy player a play a household for 10 generations or more 100 points and legendary legacy play a household for a hundred generations or more for a hundred points <laughs> now unfortunately it says you can only track 10 generations four above you and five below you and I assume you count as the one of the generations of course so that equals 10 so I assume that once it gets to like a five above you won't be able to see that fifth one I'm not sure I haven't really tested it out yet because I don't have a family that has that many generations there's a lot more information in the description in the patch notes so just read through that and you can see all the new information all the fixes and all that stuff. Now I'm going to go over the Sims 4 expansion pack called Get to Work, which is going to be released sometime in April. I don't have a specific date. Maybe if I find one, I'll put it on the screen. But here's a screenshot of the cover art. It's like half of it, I believe. But there's like a detective, a nurse, and a stylist. And here's another screenshot where they're at sort of like a cafe. There's a policeman, another nurse, a scientist eating a bagel. And it just looks so cool already so for a new career you have of course a doctor or a nurse you save lives and these sims are sick they don't look all that great there's some machines where you can scan them and even maybe do some sort of operation like take out their heart <laughs> that was in the trailer there's also a screenshot of a man holding a baby so that can mean many things I don't want to think too much about it until I hear some more news though another new career is where you can solve crimes 
be like a detective. They can take pictures of crime scenes and stuff and they'll interrogate Sims. Look at how <laughs> she's like, I didn't do it or maybe I did. And they get put in jail, in jail. There's also some sort of scientist where you can create inventions. They have this machine where they make things and it looks pretty cool. At first I thought that was a hoverboard, but I don't really know because this was a screenshot after it where there's like a portal. <laughs> Who knows where that could lead? Another career where you can build your own business. So there's a lot of screenshots of different rooms that they've decorated, put out different things on display. Maybe you can sell these things. Who knows, but it looks awesome. And here is the last one where this guy is taking a picture of this girl. So maybe they're bringing back cameras, which would be great because I always really liked the cameras. I didn't use them as often as I would have liked, but yeah, that screenshot, I just thought it looked funny. <laughs> the officer like stuffing his face looks adorable. So yeah, that is it for the news. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative, maybe a little. Again, links in the description to where you can read the patch notes where you can pre-order it get to work the new expansion pack also a link to the trailer because it looks awesome there's so much stuff in it i'm not kidding it's like every second there's something new <laughs> and a link to where i got some screenshots from sims vip's blog so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i will talk to you all later bye everyone